Hey, good afternoon. Uh, welcome back. I want to do a little bit of a discussion post for the Conn Smythe playoff MVP for this year. Uh, you know, Vegas is up 2 nothing in the Stanley Cup Final. Looks like maybe they'll win this one. We don't know. It's it's still so early. Like Florida wins a game tonight, and they're right back in it. So as of right now, where it stands, um, you know, you can have a bunch of options, right? You could have Bobrovsky in the conversation. You could have... Kachuk in the conversation, uh, Stone, Eichel, Barbashev, um, Petrangelo. Uh, Petrangelo is your one you're not going to hear much, but I think he's played very well. You can have a bunch of guys in conversation. Um, I think there's only, you know, like two answers for me right now at this point. Like, if Florida wins, um, despite Bobrovsky, how Bobrovsky's playing in the Stanley Cup final, he hasn't been playing great. Uh, Florida wins despite his play. Like, if he continues to play this way and Florida ends up winning the series, I think it has to be Matthew Kachuk, depending on how he finishes the series. Um, you know, he's just been excellent all playoffs, so many game-winning goals, so many clutch goals. Uh, that would be my pick if I was Florida. But uh, the way it stands, I think, honestly, you could even make a case if Vegas loses, maybe you even still pick Aiden Hill. Um, Aiden Hill, he's 9-3 and three in the playoffs. Uh, he, it's... He's playing very well. He's a 206 goals against average and uh, 937 save percentage. He's played very well. He's really stabilized that net. He's only 27 years old. Um, you know, he was kind of a journeyman, bounced around, was in Phoenix for a little bit, was in, you know, with the Sharks. And uh, now he's now he's with Vegas, and he's provided stability in the net. He's a bigger goalie, good mobility, though. Uh, very quick post-to-post. It kind of seems like it could be his kind of like a, I'm here kind of a, a series. You know, sometimes you have these goalies that don't get a lot of looks in the regular season, and then they have these playoffs, and it kind of announces that they're here. Now, Vegas is an interesting spot because uh, they might not be able to keep him. If he keeps playing the way he is, and he finishes the playoffs near the numbers he's at right now, or even better, he's going to command a little bit of money, and Vegas already has a decent amount of money tied up in the goaltending for next year with Robin Leonard, who's not even playing. Vegas is already pretty tight to the cap. Um, some say either over the cap. They actually are over the cap if you include a LTIR. So they would have to move out some money in order to keep Aiden Hill. I don't think they do that. Um, I could see Aiden Hill testing free agency or going somewhere else and uh, be trying to be a starting, uh, you know, a starting goalie. Uh, he's got some options. I mean, if he really wanted to be a starting goalie, there's definitely a lot of contenders out there that would that would take him. I, I think that. A Toronto fit would be good for him. Um, problem is, he just hasn't had that much experience in the regular season, so I don't know how many teams are going to be willing to uh, to take that on. He might stay in Vegas. He might give them, because you know, say they win the Cup and he's the guy there, they might give him, or he might give them a discount and say, I'll stay here, I'll take a short-term uh, short term deal worth a little bit less if you, know, you guys can commit to me later on. So if Vegas, you know is able to move Leonard and then commit to Hill after, um, they might do that because ultimately Leonard didn't get it done in Vegas, pretty much been injured the whole time. Uh, Flurry didn't get it done. Um, Brassois didn't get it done. If Aiden Hill's the guy to get it done, they should be able to commit to him long-term. You know, your first Stanley Cup as a franchise, you should stick with that goalie. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens, but at the very least, I think he's in my opinion, I think he should be the favorite for the con Smythe just because he's saved, pretty much saved Vegas this season. Uh, not to say that they were going to lose any of those series, but if Brassois was in net, he wasn't playing very well. Uh, he didn't have the best numbers against a low-scoring team like Winnipeg. Now, Winnipeg was low-scoring in the playoffs. Uh, they weren't that good over the last two months of the season. And Brassois, you know, he won the games, but his numbers were not great. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens because... You know, coming in after Brassois got hurt against a high-scoring Edmonton team, Hill has largely looked very good. They have felt so comfortable with Hill that they haven't even turned to Jonathan Quick, who's won two Stanley Cups in his career. Obviously, Quick is not the same goalie. But, you know, if they win the Cup with Aiden Hill, I, I don't know if they should part ways with him. I think they should try to find a way to keep him, whether or not that be uh, the short-term solution, time to a short-term cheap deal, and then get rid of Leonard's contract, remove some money, wait till some money comes off, and then commit to him. Or if it's just they 
get rid of Leonard somehow and then commit to him this offseason. I guess we'll see what happens. They have uh, it's something they're going to have to figure out. Obviously, they have more important things to worry about right now. They have to finish off uh, the Panthers. And that series is not it hasn't gone how I thought it was going to go. Um, I picked I picked Florida because originally I picked Carolina to beat Vegas in the Stanley Cup final. That was my bracket as I had Carolina beating Vegas. So I just swapped them out. You know, I said Florida beat uh, Carolina, so I'll just stick with it. I thought it would be cheap if I went with uh, Vegas. But Vegas is built for the playoffs. I think they've proven that over the last, since basically since they've started in the NHL. Um, you know, they missed playoffs last year, but they had a ton of injuries last year. And then the year before that, they go to the Eastern Conference or the Western Conference Finals and lose to the Canadians. Um, you know, they were seen as the favorited team there, so they lost to an underdog. Um, but they still, another that was another conference final strip. So they've made the conference finals multiple times. They've made the Stanley Cup finals multiple times, and they've only been in the league since 2018. Um, they built the team right out there. I know they had given, they were given a lot of tools, but they built the team right. Um, and I just think that if they want to keep up the success, they need to commit to a goalie because they keep, they can't keep having these goaltending carousels. They can't keep having these coaching carousels. Uh, I love Cassidy. I think Cassidy's probably a top three coach in the league. Um, he wasn't the problem in Boston. The Boston was the makeup of the team. And he comes to a team like Vegas, and he takes them to the Stanley Cup for the first year. So they have a great coach, uh, a great offense, like a, a deep offense. It's not like no one's particularly amazing in the regular season, but they have a very deep offense. Uh, and then they have fantastic defense, one of the best defenses in the league, definitely top ten. And then uh, they have a tandem goaltending, very underrated, very random tandem goaltending that just worked out. Brassois and, and Hill has worked out in the playoffs, and sometimes it's just you ride the hot hand. Uh, in this case, Hill had good regular season numbers, and I think that he's actually, I think he's, at the very least, he's earned the shot at the starting nod for next year. Um, and we'll see what Vegas does with him. If he has a con Smythe and a Stanley Cup by the end of this, and I think it's it's a hard case to argue against the fact that he should have at least earned a chance at the starting job for Vegas next year. Um, and they should they should look to make that happen for him. I think he's earned it at this point. Um, great playoff numbers, and he's played tough teams. It's not like he hasn't played tough teams. He played at the Edmonton Oilers and the Dallas Stars, two of the best teams out in the West. Um, you know, before the playoffs started, I had my top three teams in the West were Edmonton was one, Dallas was two, and Vegas is three. So he knocked off the two teams that I had uh, ahead of him in the West, and he, he's done it pretty handedly. I mean, they took care of Dallas. Uh, they really, like, he, he played very well against the two best players in the league against, uh, you know, Edmonton. So um, it's just one of those things. He could be, maybe he's the hot hand right now, or maybe he's just proving who he actually is. So if you're a Vegas fan or if you're an Aiden Hill fan, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of Aiden Hill's run. Um, let me know if you think he stays in Vegas. Uh, but I guess we'll see. So if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, we could do some dialogue in the comment section, talk about the Hill uh, the Hill situation, talk about the Golden Knights, talk about the Stanley Cup Finals in general. I haven't done a video on the Stanley Cup Finals. Um, but maybe I'll get to it after Game 3. I'll do a, a, little, a little Where Are We with the Stanley Cup Final video. Uh, and we'll just go from there. So yeah, like I said, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. You guys have a good day.